Make sure the configuration is set up exactly the same on both inverters. Connect the meter and data logger only to the master inverter. On the slave set meter mode to no meter. So you only need the meter if you're going to use the meter if you're on grid or like my situation, I'm quasi on grid. I've got my own micro grid here. My main inverter in the, in the solar shed is providing the 60 hertz synchronization uh, to run these two inverters. So they, they think they're on grid, but they're actually off grid. All right, so you only need one meter connected to the master. You don't put a meter on the slaves. Grounding, ensure all inverters are connected to the same ground point. And if you experience any issues, check the parallel communication cables for loose connections and ensure dip switch settings are correct. Now, one thing I want to say about the communications cable, the RJ45 cable, you want to use the one that came with the inverters because that one is shielded. Can communications, if it picks up any noise, it can really mess you up. When you, when you first get the inverter, put that cable in a safe spot so you, you know where it is. All right, and that's, that's it for the, uh, for the settings. All right, this one's gone way too long already, so we're gonna do the DIY load bank in the next video. Again, if you like this kind of content, sure would appreciate a like and a subscribe.